Welcome to Sharing Your Vision. Today we have a very special guest, Pastor Peter Kim. Welcome. Oh, thank hello. you for being here. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Uh, we're going to talk about the Good News Mission. Tell us about this special mission. Uh, actually, Good News Fish Mission, uh, uh, beginning from South Korea. And then Peso Oksu Park established our vision about 50 years ago. And then right now we have uh, 80 branches in all of the world. And then such as Africa and South America and Asia, Europe. So all of the world our mission is spread it right now. And it, yeah, especially in America, like uh, in our mission, every year we do beautiful music concert called Christmas Cantata. So. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. Now, um, there's a lot of volunteers mm -hmm. that actually make up this beautiful uh, choir. Yeah. Tell us all about that. Uh, actually, uh, Christmas Cantata music concert uh, made by a lot of missionaries and pastors. And also all the choirs are volunteer and they are Christian. That's how we can make free concert. Now, you've traveled uh, to different parts of the country mm -hmm. and outside of the country in different other places. How does that work? How, how do you unite mm -hmm. uh, such a large group of beautiful, talented people and just travel around the different cities and countries? And we have now in our screen one of the trucks. Mm -hmm. uh, we bring the joy to you. So uh, in, uh, in America, we have uh, 50 branches in the uh, major cities. And then there is a missionary, young missionary like me. They do ministry work at each city. And then in the beginning, actually acquire trouble, the like small town, like such as like Indian reservation area and Amish village. And then we perform for the, the those people. but. Uh, we realized that there is a lot of people love this concert, so we decided to make Christmas Cantata tour to the major city. So there is a lot of missionaries, uh, and we decided to make Christmas Cantata in every city. So uh, in the beginning, around nine cities we start, but right now, 28 cities in America include uh, Anchorage, Alaska. So, wow. yeah. What are we seeing in this particular picture? Uh, uh, those are a choir member. Usually they do only perform. But choir member also they are setting up the stage as a volunteer. And also the, all, the uh, all the staff member who are working on the stage right now, they are actually uh, the missionaries and pastors of our Good News Mission. And then they are very professional. Well, wow, how many hours do they dedicate themselves in preparing the stage and then having to perform? Usually, uh, they set up the stage uh, like 6 a.m. from 6 a.m. in the morning up, all the way up to 11 o'clock. And then after that, uh, they do choir rehearsal. Yeah. So at 11 o'clock, they do the choir rehearsals. Uh, Is it for the next day? They perform the following no, day or the same day? Same day. Wow. So uh, imagine about that, like they perform like this year 29 cities within 30 days. That means every day they have to travel to different cities. So uh, early in the morning, 6 a.m. to 11 o'clock, they set up the stage. And then 11 to like 4, they, there is choir rehearsal. And then like a few hour break and then they start concert 7. And then around 9.30, concert is over. And then from 9.30, they wrap it up, everything. And then they go to next city all night long. In, in, uh, in the bus, they stay. They arrive next city early in the morning. So Do they take a break during the year? Or this is a whole 12-month uh, uh, mm -hmm. period of performing and traveling? Oh, uh, Actually, for the choir, uh, they travel all over the world. But uh, around... September and October, they came to America and toured 29 cities. And then through this Christmas Cantata music concert, the uh, reason why they're doing it because they wanted to deliver the true gospel 
and then true meaning of Christmas, uh, which means G- birthday of Jesus Christ, to the all the people. Uh, and this is totally free for everyone. Yes, this is this concert is free, and then first come first serve base. Then sometime like people want it to reserve, so I receive around twenty dollar over twenty dollar donation. And as a appreciation, we give them some reserve seating. But uh, actually, basically, concert is free. Um, Pastor Kim, what is this uh, saying in this beautiful picture? Mm-hmm. Is it the moment of performing, and what are they performing? Actually, uh, actually, the this music concert. There is three different acts. This is the first stage. First stage uh, is a opera stage with the story of uh, a nativity story, like birthday of Jesus Christ story, how Jesus Christ born in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. And then so in, inside the first stage uh, opera, there is a Mary and Joseph story, and then King Herod's story, many other like a historical like it's just in wonderful there. Yeah. the pictures and the precise design yeah. of that time. Yeah. Biblically. Yes, wow. right. It's just so beautiful. to make this stage, they uh, open up the Bible like several times, and then they try to like explain everything which is inside the Bible yeah. in details. Yeah, detail. And you also have children. Yes, there is a little Santa, like special <laughs> corner. And then the children also, they travel and follow the choir for a month. And then their parents are our Good News Mission uh, church brother and sister. And then they like, allow the kids to follow this concert. And then, yeah, even like little children also dedicate their life for the gospel. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I love it because in such a tender age, they're already traveling and they're already experiencing Yeah, it would be a really like, yeah, good experience to them too. Wow, that's yeah. just enriching. Yeah. And what are we seeing here? These are just amazing, beautiful pictures. Yeah, th- this is a second act, uh, like stage picture. Uh, you know, second act will be a like musical stage, not a, a little bit lighter than opera. But this through this musical stage, we uh, they perform. Um, uh, do you know the story of uh, Me- Magi, like gift of Magi? Like I can little uh, explain a little bit. The, there is a um, boyfriend and girlfriend. They exchange gift at the Christmas day. But at that time, the girlfriend cut her hair and then buy for her boyfriend like a watch bristle. And then the boyfriend uh, sell the watch and then buy her the hairpin. <laughs> so when they exchange gift, actually uh, to them it's meaningless, but they uh, realize how much they love each other. Yes. So the, with that story, they make a beautiful music concert and then remind people how much our family is precious and important to us but because of busy life they forget about uh, this important family and love so we just remind people the love and then make people warm with the musical stage now yeah. for all the people that um, are going to go because the event is coming up real mm-hmm. soon we're going to talk a little bit about that a little bit later in the program what do they expect and what are some of the testimonies and we're going to show some of the videos as well mm-hmm. of, a, of a, some of the um, events that went on mm-hmm. during the uh, the actual performance but um, what what do they say I mean how do they feel after uh, no. <laughs> being in this performance and actually living it because mm-hmm. it's just live and it's beautiful it's yeah. musical and it's artistical mm-hmm. uh, all uh, to give glory to God mm-hmm. yeah so after watching the show like a lot of people uh, they gain happiness and joy. Uh, that's what we wanted to really deliver to people and make their heart warm. And also, uh, we deliver them the message message of gospel. And then, people are really uh, surprised, uh, not only because of the concert, but also the clear message of gospel through the Christmas cantata. So. Wonderful. And here we see another one of the scenes. Yeah, uh, this is the, the yeah, final stage. Yeah, this is final stage. 
And then as you see, like full orchestra and choir come out, they perform Handel's Oratorio Messiah. Right. Wow, it's yeah. just amazing. And then there is no any computer background music. All the music in there is live music. So. Wow. It's just a, a wonderful. And we were talking behind the scenes about where they stay when they travel. I thought it was amazing oh, how God provides. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, uh, they have no leisure to stay in Kaji Hotel. <laughs> like <laughs> after the show, they have to travel to another city and then they stay actually inside a bus for a month. Wow. Yeah. And then, and then. Uh, they throw away everything and then throw them through a whole life into the cantata because they believe that this is not just music concert, and then this is gospel work. Wow, they understand that it's not about them. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, being able to glorify God yeah. with their own self um, ability to travel and give of themselves. Yes. They, they really don't think of themselves actually. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's amazing. I mean, a like, lot of people that are listening or, or maybe just admiring mm -hmm. the wonderful work that everyone does, including yourself, yeah. um, it's just sacrificial. Yeah. Complete sacrificial. Yeah. Especially this year, uh, after the concert, we will deliver to people like free spiritual book, like which uh, which is our founder pastor's like uh, spiritual book, and this book explain the detail about gospel, and also middle of the show between act two and three we always put gospel message, so it will be a really great opportunity to us to outreach to unbelieved family or friends and introduce Jesus Christ and gospel. So, wow, it's just wonderful, and here we see another of these amazing yeah. uh, pictures and you could actually see the choir yeah. <laughs> and all the instruments yeah. and actually these instruments are kept in trucks you have three different yes. uh, trucks that right. travel uh, the, the 29 yes, uh, right. states is it uh, 29 cities cities uh, yeah. the 29 cities mm -hmm. and uh, within certain states of the United States. Yeah, in Florida states. Yes. Uh, we do two concerts. One is in Orlando, another one is in Miami. And the Miami uh, concert is the last one. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this will wrap it up. Yeah, so 14, it will gonna be in Orlando. And then 5th, October 15 is the last show, 2019 Christmas Cantata Tour, last show in Miami. And then everybody just goes home yeah, and relaxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they they head back again. You start in the new year. Yeah, and then uh, after the Miami concert, one of the choir member uh, will get a marriage. Uh, they oh. were married like sep uh, seventeen in New York, so probably they will go to go back to New York. Oh my God, that's yeah. wonderful! And everybody just uh, joins in. And they perform as well at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Maybe they will make some space, special stage. <laughs> oh my God, that's yeah. wonderful! And now you travel by plane. And how many members? It's it's like a hundred and fifty. Yeah, the mo yeah, mostly hundred and fifty members. Wow! Yeah. So you occupy a whole plane. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, America uh, Cantara tour time we using bus. Like, yes, so yeah. you could travel within but the when cities. They go to another country, in the different states. Yeah, they fly. Yeah. Oh my God, that's wonderful. So imagine about that, like six buses and three semi trucks and RV. And do Do they enjoy the time that they're together while yeah, performing they're enjoy the and time. being creative? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a lot of behind story. I don't know what that is, but there is a lot of behind <laughs> stories. Do you have any testimonies of how their lives have changed? Mm. Uh, who like the choir? the members the choirs do they comment about how their lives have changed performing mm -hmm. in so many cities and and just being on so many stages mm -hmm. uh, when they uh, when they see the the audience right then they listen the interview like video uh, oh. from the audience mm -hmm. then a lot of audience say that oh, through this music concert, my uh, 
my father love love me so much. My son love me so much. And then they are gaining a lot of joy and happiness. And then a lot of audience are encouraged uh, encouraged by this concert. And then especially like some city which have difficulties before, for example, Detroit and Las Vegas. Uh, one years ago or two years ago, there is uh, some gun shooting. Like happen? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Yeah. Like at that moment, also a choir member went there and performed in the city. That a lot of audience like they're moved oh. with the concert, and then a lot of people are crying. It must be and, difficult, yeah, right? Then, because it's yeah. a city that hurts. Yeah. So the, actually, there is a lot of people, uh, even in Miami around us. Um, yeah, of course we can eat, we can sleep, but so many people have hardship in their heart. Yes. But d through the music concert, uh, they get encouraged and then gain the gospel message. And then the many people are changed. So, yeah, choir member, uh, as, as they heard about this testimonial story, they forget about their old difficulties. And, Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And you actually talk, you minister, during a certain point of the program mm. there's words there's uh, there's ministering of the bible verses there mm. there's there's a message yeah. uh, because there's music performance and there's actually a message someone yeah. opens the bible and just tells a story mm. or gives information so that must be amazing yeah. uh, at that mm. moment in time uh, so like uh, we have a 20 minute message time in the middle of the show and then our uh, like senior pastor one of senior pastor will deliver the message during the show and then this is completely like bible stories like he like showing the projector like a tabernacle last year the pastor showing the tabernacle and heavenly tabernacle and the tabernacle in the word which is made by Moses he showed a picture and then yes. explaining and then Jesus Christ entered into the heavenly tabernacle and then uh, finished the eternal redemption that's what wow. he explained to the audience to the public so there is a clear gospel message so he boldly preaching to the public like Jesus Christ finished uh, eternal redemption makes us free from sin the only thing that we have to do is accept the forgiveness of Jesus Christ by faith. Yeah. So this this message is very powerful. And then even a lot of Christian leaders are imp uh, impressed. And then they got inspired through the music concert. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you are working, obviously, as a volunteer uh, mm -hmm. for this wonderful, wonderful choir. Yeah. How is that affecting your life? How has that been <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> such a life-changing experience uh, actually to me uh, preparing this concert is a uh, big challenge honestly uh, because my church is a house church I don't have <laughs> like, as, as many people actually uh, imagine that uh, the church uh, who prepared this cantata right it, would, it might be a really big church, <laughs> but actually I do house church. I do service in my living room area. Wow. And then our church member is around uh, 20 plus member. But you know, as you see, like venue must be really big, like arena. Like one day renter fee is over $30,000, almost $40,000 for one day show. Wow. How can you bear to pay the rent fee with our congregation, 20 people. Oh, wow. So every year when I start the cantata, like it's really a uh, big challenge to me. But this is our eighth year. Wow. Already we've been this cantata work for eight years. And then every each year, there is into different way, God supporting this can cantata. And then like when we do fundraising, uh, the God showing a lot of like Helper every year, different helper comes to us and then donate and sponsor. And also like our brother and sister also participate to do offering for the concerta. And uh, actually our church is in Hollywood. <laughs> and then concert is in Miami. <laughs> Coral Gable, really far. 
So I believe that this concert is not only for our church concert, mm-hmm. but really purely this concert is for the Miami city and for the gospel. So I hope all other churches, uh, regardless of denomination, <laughs> all other churches using this good opportunity as an evangelical tool, they enjoy the show. I think it's wonderful what you do, and yeah. I know that it must be a challenge. In the, yeah. in the I learn a lot of faith every moment, even today. <laughs> you know, I learn a lot of faith, and then this time also, I believe that God prepared for me to like, promote the cantata. Right? Yes, every definitely. Yeah. Now you're part of our family, yeah. and we're going to be promoting this wonderful event every year so everybody knows when they're going to be here locally or if you're not in this area of the city where else um, you may be living they might be coming very close to you mm-hmm. and it, in, and even though some people can travel they some people love to travel mm-hmm. and just enjoy this event every single year mm-hmm. and if we can help as well I know during the program uh, there's a moment in time that you can actually help if so they can continue to do their work every single year. It's a lot of people, a lot of traveling, a lot of sacrifice, and um, it's just wonderful. It really is wonderful. Uh, so you could continue to do this every single year to bring joy, laughter, Mm-hmm. And those people that haven't received God or they may not know enough about the Lord, they get to know uh, through this wonderful event because it plays out all the scenes from the Bible. And then there's a pastor that brings the word mm-hmm. of the tabernacle. And that's important. That's part of our faith. Mm-hmm. And um, that's part of uplifting mm-hmm. our faith and yeah. to continue in the road that God has paved for each and every one of us. Yes, so thank you for uh, giving me uh, this great chance and opportunity to introduce Cantara. And please pray for our music concert. Yes, well, I'm going to be there personally with my family yeah, and all the people that I honor. have invited. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm part of that volunteer work as well. <laughs> I'm already part of it. And um, it's just a joy, uh, Pastor Kim. We bless you. Yeah, uh, we you bless so much. <laughs> this wonderful ministry and all the efforts that you put into it to make sure that um, God's plan uh, for this wonderful uh, gospel uh, gets to be heard and seen yeah. by everyone around the world. Thank so you. let uh, our audience know mm. the day, the mm-hmm. time, mm. and also um, they need to get there early. And let's yes, tell them why. Right. <laughs> so the our concert will be at October 15, Tuesday, and concert start will be at seven seven eight, uh, seven p.m. But I suggesting people come one hour earlier, then you guys can safely enter because this music concert is first come first serve base amen well thank you again pastor yeah thank you so much and i know we'll be seeing more of you we'll be having you and other future programs Mm -hmm. amen yeah thank you and thank thank you for um being part of what is happening in our city and how uh, these wonderful men and women are volunteering to bring the gospel to each and every one of us So we'll see you on the next episode of Sharing Your Vision. Thank you. Vida
Oh! Uh-huh.